Hey guys and welcome back to part 19 of the e-commerce app playlist. In this video we will finally start with the categories so we'll get the products for each category and display them inside two recycle reviews. Let me show the original app. As you can see we are inside the chair category. We have two lists. The first one displays some products and other one for some other products. So for me for the top list I'm going to display all the products that have our percentage and for the other recycle review we're just going to show the products that don't have an offer percentage you can actually change this logic on your own it depends on you and one thing i want to tell you is that the method that we're going to use today is a static method what i mean by that is we can't actually change the categories dynamically because the tab layout actually has an issue when it comes to changing the counting dynamically because when you actually click on any tab it doesn't only render this tab, it renders this tab and this tab, which actually caused a problem. Now, at the end of this playlist, we will actually change this behavior. We will change this tab layout and find an alternative way to change this so we can actually get the categories dynamically because that's how all the apps nowadays works. They just get everything from the database and change the application content dynamically. We're going to achieve that, but not now. And for now, we're just gonna have our static categories and implement them inside our project. Okay, now let's actually get it started. Inside the base category fragment, which I opened already, we're going to design our XML file. So let's go in here and let me hide the emulator. Inside the code section, the design is actually very simple. Let's get back to the original app. As you can see, we have two recycle reviews. They display exactly the same item, but the first one is an horizontal one, and the second one is a vertical one. So let's actually design that. In here we're going to have a nested scroll view, fill view part, make it true, and also give an ID for this one, nested scroll base category, let's say. And now we can have a constraint layout, make match parent for both, uh, we actually need to make this wrap content, the height. And the phrase recycler view, which is going to be in here. So recycler view, gonna take match parent for the width, wrap content for height, and let's give this an ID, RV, let's name this offer, and let's add the constraints. So start the start of the parent, top to the top of the parent, and for the int constraint, leave it empty. Now add a margin from the start, make this 10 dB. Also margin from the top, 10 dB. And below this recycle view, now we can just go to the main category fragment, go to the XML design of that, copy them together, and we can just paste them in here. Then we can just change some constraints. So top to the bottom of this circle view, the RV offer, and start to the start with the same one. So RV offer, products like that, and we are good to go. Now let's go to the fragment, and now we wanna set up binding. So private letting it var binding, which is binding, which is fragment base oops category binding we also need two adapters for our recycle reviews so private letting it var offer adapter which is from the best products adapter duplicate this one and make it for the best products adapter and now we can override the only creative view function we can initialize our binding, pass the inflator in here, we can return the root of that. Now inside the on view created, we can actually set up these recycle reviews. So let's do that. Let's call set up offer recycler view. We want one more for the best products. Let's 
let's create those functions and I will just go to the main category fragment again and copy that function from there this one so I'm just gonna copy this function and paste it inside here but for the adapter name uh, yeah let's actually add adapter in here and for this one we will actually and for this one we will actually do it differently because this one is a horizontal one so let's actually define the adapter first then binding dot rv based products dot apply in here we need to assign the layout manager which is horizontal one so linear layout manager and in here we need to pass the context so required or required context pass the orientation this time we need to pass horizontal so um linear layout manager dot horizontal for the for the reverse layout pass false now for the adapter we're going to assign that in here okay that's it for these functions now if you launch the app you should see the text view as you can see in the chair fragment we got this text view the same thing for the other categories because we because they all extend from the same fragment okay guys so that's it for this video i know we have not done much in this one because in the next video there will be a lot of stuff to do so i don't want to mix uh, these things together. I think that's enough for this video and I'm sorry for not being able to upload any video in the last two weeks That's because my college which I think is useless. But anyways uh, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and catch you in the next video